Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Rich here. So today I'm going to quickly show you a quick thing with relays. So, as you can see, I have a 4 pin there, and I have a 5 pin right here. And it's kind of gutted so I can show you how a relay works. So, let's quickly go over it first, how it works. As a, most know, if you take a look, there's uh, see how these two plates are separated? Well, what this is right here is an electromagnetic coil. So, what happens is when it gets energized, it pulls this piece of metal together. And see how it, there's that opening there? It closes when it activates, right? So, the best way to say it is you always have to have on pins 85 and 86 opposites. So, let's say you're doing a negative trigger, right? So, you would have to have on pin 86, uh, this would be your negative trigger. So, it would be right here, or it could be on this side again and then you'd have to have positive on the other side of it to activate it otherwise if you have positive and positive on 86 it will not the relay will do nothing and if you have negative and negative it does nothing all right so, so let's say right here I'm showing for a source now this source right here is going to be from uh, we'll say a car stereo so let's say we have our stereo right here um, and you're running some switches, we'll say, because what it is is you have a pack module, steering wheel controls, you know, a backup camera, everything like that. And the problem is, is your remote wire, you don't want to put it under that much load. Otherwise, it could cause problems with your deck later on. You don't want to put too much strain on it. So what you'd want to do is get a constant wire. So one straight from the battery, we'll say, or, you know, from the ignition or something with, a, you know, that's higher fused. So that way it doesn't draw too much power and blow a fuse. So what you would want to do in that case is say, this is the car stereo. You would want the car stereo, so the blue white wire it would go to right here. And then say, well, you have two amplifiers, um, some LEDs, uh, backup camera, pack module, everything like that. You would wire it to uh, this terminal. Now, how you know this terminal, the output terminal from all the rest, if you look, everything's in the shape of a box. And then the output terminal is out of alignment. It's always up and down. We'll say the rest are like hamburgers and this one's hot dog style. So it's like that and then the other corner is flat. And if you look at a five pin, you'll see, let's see if I can get a good angle. See how these two are flat? Everything's, these two are flat and this one's still on that same angle as the side pins. That's your output wire, all right? So, now these two, like I said, 85 and 86 always have to be opposites. So this one, if you're doing a negative trigger, then your negative trigger will be right here and you'll put positive to right here. And if you're doing a positive trigger, which is what we're gonna be doing with the remote wire, then you'll put it right here, all right? And then you'd have ground on the other side. So as we can say here, like I said, from the source, it's gonna go in through here and it's basically going to be going like this. The power, when it's connected, is gonna be going through there. So as you can see right here with this, Actually, let's put up a little coil right here. So this moves. Right now, it's in this position. And what we wanted to do is to connect these two like a railroad track. Right now, it's broken, the railroad track. So you're going to put a ground here and this here. So then from over here, you want to put the power from like what I said to the from the battery or from the steering column or wherever right here. And then this will be to your devices, your amplifier and everything else you know, all your other little accessories like your GPS and whatnot. Um, and what'll happen is when your deck turns on, it'll send power to that remote wire, and then this switch will connect the two railroad tracks, as we'll put it, and it'll send power from the battery to your devices. Now you're like, okay, now why would you wanna do that? Like I said, with the whole amperage, you'll blow fuses otherwise, or you could risk blowing your deck if you add too much to that, which you don't wanna do. Most decks have a fuse on the back, which would blow first. But once again, uh, you don't want, if you can not use the deck, like drain as much power from the deck, then don't. And the whole reason why is because stereos, you know, they're nice, but you don't want to get them too hot, too warm. That way they function properly. Now, as you can see here, I've now created pretty much a fifth pin. Now, you're wondering, so what's the difference between a four pin and a five pin relay then? Well, imagine it like this. 
when the relay is not activated, so we'll say the source is not on, we'll say this is positive. We've got a positive wire on the center, right? We'll say that um, we want it to switch from positive to negative or switch sources. We'll say we want this LED to be green, but when the car turns on, we want it to turn red. All right? So what you do is you hook up the wire right here to this red LED and you hook up this wire to the green one because then when the relay is not in motion or when this device is off then this would be green and then when this device turns on there's a switch that would be right here well it would flick over to right here and what will happen is it'll turn on the green one and turn off the red one so the best way to say it, the pin the center pin is only active when the relay is not in use and then when the relay is actually in use, the source sends power through there or, you know, or it goes to ground, it switches over to here and the center pin is no longer active and this pin is active, all right? And then, like I said, when you're looking inside the relay, it makes more sense. Um, right now, this coil has activated that pin and then as soon as this gets pulled next to it, it disengages from this side of the pit or this panel and then it goes to this one. As you can see, let's see if I can show you there. See how it separates and then it connects to this one? Yeah. So that's the best way I can really go into it. If you're looking to use relays for something and you know, you're know you curious on more about how they work, you can always post in the comment section below. I'll try and help you out the best I can. And uh, like I said, I think I've pretty much got it here. This center pin will only be working when the relay does not have uh, any power from the source. As soon as it go, it's power from the source, center pin stops working, and this pin starts working. And then when it loses power, or when this device stops sending power or sending ground, this will switch back to here, and it'll feed it constantly. All right? So, yeah. Other than that, uh, thanks again for watching. Like the video if you found it interesting. Subscribe to the channel if you uh, like what I'm doing here. And other than that, uh, any questions, post in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.